Hey guys, I'm back. I just had a um, pretty fun little, uh, what is it? Uh, hold on, I had a fun little, oof, maybe like, uh, I'm changing my adjust, transform, and lowering the top. I'm going to get the top uh, scene more in order to, it takes up more of my screen when I play League of Legends, but um, it'll help me here. So I think we have to do that. Uh, so what happens is, you see my head's properly framed in there. You know, so we're good. Anyway, I had um, bean and rice, uh, uh, black bean, pinto bean uh, mixed together with some rice uh, burrito. Uh, put some Worcestershire sauce in that popper, some salt, uh, some egg. It did not have cool jack. Uh, after it comes out of the uh, thing, after it comes out of the, the, whatever you heat it with, uh, you drop on some spinach. And then uh, this is a bit, you know, fresh spinach leaves, and then put some more Worcestershire, some steak sauce, and some ranch. It's actually pretty good. You'd be surprised. Anyway, some people in the cooking uh, section said, "Yeah, that's pretty good too." Uh, so anyway, we're back. Uh, we're gonna do some eBay today. Uh, we we're talking about earlier. We we're talking about um, like uh, I was just making notes. So um, in an essay, you always want to make your notes at the bottom, right? You get running an essay uh, and a review. Uh, you're, you're, you're reviewing, you're panning something out, you're, uh, you're uh, seeing the pros and cons. You always want, every time you have like a random idea, you want to put it down at the bottom. This goes true for anything in your creative, uh, in the creative uh, atmosphere world. I tell my game designers, my game, my people I'm training games on, I run a, like a guild, like a university, like, uh, like a rev share place, you know? And I say, uh, Everybody, you can't force yourself to be creative, right? Try and force yourself to be creative. It'll be unfunny, like some of the j jokes in the Naked Gun or the Police Academy movies in the 80s. Like, they're just filler jokes. You can tell they're just stretching. Because they, a bunch of, bunch of old guys, they were comedians, sat down with a bunch of, like, cigars, uh, whiskey, and, uh, you know, maybe some golf clubs. And they're all like, hey, this is... Blah, 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 blah. That, that's how they wrote movies back then. And then, eh... Can't say there's nothing wrong with that. There is something wrong with it. Some of those movies, those are good movies, you know. So just because they had those dumb filler jokes doesn't mean too much. Some people laughed at them, unfortunately. But um, the idea is you, for, you force creativity. If you when you force creativity, it doesn't come out good. You know, you, you, it's lame, right? But you can't. Well, you, you're creative in a natural process. You'll go be about. You'll be going about your day, and something funny will happen. Like why would that guy, like, pull out in traffic, right? Why he stopped at the red light? And then, like, he drove into the middle of the intersection to stop the end. He keeps doing that. That doesn't make sense. That's funny, right? Or, like, you say a joke. You say something to your friend, and they say, and they say like, a, a random original joke on the fly. That's funny. You write that down, right? And you think about something about, like, whatever you're working on, your project you're thinking about, an original idea or something when you're out and about. You write it down. If you don't write it down, you lose it. Because like, you have so many ideas, you don't have memory. Your brain works like a computer, right? Um, so I always tell people, <coughs> everybody's creative, right? Everybody, everybody's creative. But uh, not everybody chooses to remember uh, the creative ideas, right? So it's like uh, creativity falls like rain, and you have uh, the more buckets you have to collect the rain, the better. So sometimes working on more than one project's good. Sometimes working on one project's good, and having buckets to collect other projects you might be interested in working on later is good. Or you just write down everything funny that happens, right? So you write down a bunch of funny events, like we're like funny things that like just people freaking laugh at, die laughing at, right? You write all these events down, and you have like 300 of them. Uh, you can easily change 50 to 100 and make the hangover 9, right? You know, you don't have, you know, like, the way movies are written, you don't, if you force yourself to a plot and try and, like, put everything around the plot, then you don't, you're, you're, you're doing yourself a disservice. You should be uh, forming yourself around, like, a, like, a, you should be forming yourself around a bunch of funny ideas, a bunch of funny events. That's how Seinfeld worked, you know? He had this funny event, this funny event, and they put them all together, and then he filled up the rest. You know, it's like a puzzle. Sometimes you have to fill the frame in, get the gaps in the middle. But it all, it all, it all starts with the, um, it all starts with, like, writing your creative ideas down. You have ideas, creative ideas, you write down. And so um, this goes back to, like, when I wrote essays for, high, like, late high school, early, I mean, all through college. It's, I'm just going on about, I'm putting notes at the bottom. They may or not may not be relevant to the actual finished paper, uh, but this is the documentation of the documentation of eBay evaluation. Like, like I said earlier, uh, eBay uh, is not like Quee bids. Quee bids is completely immoral. They, they use the gambling addiction correctly. Uh, you can use the gambling addiction properly. So we we make a distinction between bad usage of immoral, bad usage of gambling addiction. Uh, oh. 
the moral bad usage of a gambling addiction um, tropes versus good uh, get attention gaming uh, entertainment value of, of of the same of the same sphere, right? So while Quibids is completely immoral, completely trashy, it's abusing people. Uh, eBay is good. You know, you sell your stuff. You know, you're selling your you put everything you don't want up for sale. You know, stuff that has value you don't want, and you get money and then buy stuff you want. That's how trade is done. All right, so we're gonna get to it. Well, I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna start selling and stuff uh, as I um, I'm just gonna start selling stuff. On eBay. Oh, you know what? I'm gonna check out my eBay. I uh, see. See what I'm selling. Uh, I think got out oh, winning payment. Do, 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 with questions. Here's a question. Questions. What's the question? Okay. Well, well, that's an issue right here. If the question you're trying to respond is invalid or order than 30 days, you cannot respond to questions order than 90 days. So, um, I'm gonna organize my paper. But this is one thing, it should not have been alert, you know, it should have an upper alert, right? Yeah, when he has an upper alert, that's, oops, uh, that's, not, that's my blue host, uh, copy this. Uh, I'm just, I'm just, like I said, I'm just making notes. So this should not... Yeah, it says what's question, so listings... So under list, list, I'm gonna just, uh, I guess I hit print screen, right? Let's zoom in there, zoom in there. So it gets better, uh, so by zooming in, it gets better a thing for the thing. So uh, this with questions, I'm gonna print screen that. This, I'm gonna use case, use case. Error, uh, with questions. I'm going to put some use case errors and stuff in here because you got know, a couple errors in your system. No big deal. Like it's a really large system. I know why you want to rework it. Uh, but the thing is, it's not not bad. It's not terrible. Terrible. This is this is not a, this is not a major failure. You're just waste so much time. And then, like I have to click the, like, like there's only so like that's another thing. There's only one question, right? Okay. I'm gonna explain this uh, as we go through it. So I said uh, active listings. Uh, this is user interface. This is like a hundred percent user interface. Uh, uh, evaluation. It's a mistake. If you ever have one option, here, we'll make that as a topic on the top thing. Uh, rules, rules for UI. If uh, you, uh, we'll put a star. We don't know how many rules you have uh, about anything. If you ever have, uh, a selector box that has variable elements and there is only one choice do not give the user do not force the user to click click it <laughs> I mean, I mean like, I'm not gonna seriously I, like I, I, this is serious I saw a point of sale I'm gonna try it up maybe you guys don't want a point of sale is like uh, 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 like you know, like 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 a cash like, like at a uh, grocery store cashier place that's supposed to maximize so m minimize time there. After choosing a credit card or something, after after using let's just say after using credit card, it asked. It might have been the post office. I don't know. It asked the it asked the user for an option, but there was only one option. <laughs> The average, the average grocery store, um, oh, clicking is over a couple seconds. 
the bantering. Oh, <laughs> why do I have to click? So we just we just got like the, we got we got a, one of the rules that you got. Oh, check it out. Uh, what's put on it? It's under eBay. Uh, you know, let's do uh, that. Is that that UI guy here? I have like uh, that is the guy here. Uh, so eBay review uh, official. We need to make a thing official. Official. Uh, this is it's like a document. It's not a design document. It's like uh, official. Uh, it's not a panning. Panning sounds nasty. Uh, I'll just say report. I don't care what it's called. Untitled. It's fine. Okay. So we just came with a rule for UI. See, we're, like I said, as we go across this stuff, I'm just going to be listing today. This is the making of the uh, report for uh, eBay. We'll probably find some better than report. You know, it doesn't sound as, as awesome, as grandeur, as spectacular as what I'm going to provide eBay. But here we go. Uh, reports. We're going to look at now. Use case error with questions. So there's the use case. Okay, so I click you questions. Um, you know what? Let's get rid of this. Let's uh, let's uh, go on. I'm gonna, I'm gonna give you some graphic. Uh, I'll give you some graphical stuff with this. Right here. What the heck? Is not pasting. Oh, that's we don't want to look at that. All right, so we want to let's get back to here. So let's scroll in. Let's take a new screenshot. I have the the copy paste buffer. It's not that great though. So with open off, so print screen that, paste it here, and then uh, we're gonna do uh, Windows toolbox. And this is a, 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 an issue, so it'll be red. Make it orange. It's not too bad. We have, they have the official warning scale. There we go. There we go with questions. So and we we copied this. Control A, Control C. Do, 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 do. Um. Two parts. Oof. Two part error. Well, you know what? I just need to like, uh, I need to format this lesson. Uh, error one. Should not even do this at all. Two. Uh, a single select. Uh, oh, let's go one. We'll just have, we'll make it rule one. We'll, we'll, we'll make it a little bit. We'll, rule, we'll call it rule B1 because it sounds like a secondary rule. And my, my main rules are like, um, okay, so it's, we'll, be, we'll just call it rule B1. Rule violates B1. Alright, uh, rule B1. Sector, do not force. Forces user to click. Single choice. All right, so uh, there you go. 